Hi, today we will look at this file upload component that I've built. Uh, we can drop this component on any of the records and uh, at, once the file is uploaded, file will be attached to that record. Currently, Lightning components do not have a file uploader component, uh, base component as of Spring 17. So this component I've built in conjunction with Visual Force. What you see inside the dotted screen, that's an iframe, and this part, this file selection uh, is in Visual Force page. This button here is part of the Lightning component. Currently, it's disabled because we have not selected any file. The communication back and forth, uh, but from Lightning components to Visual Force, is um, via window dot post message uh, library. Let's take a quick, quick look at how this works. So I will select choose file here and select a file. Now that I've selected the file, the button has been enabled. I'll quickly upload this file. And now we have two files here uh, with one I have just uploaded here. And that is pretty much it. Once the file has been successfully uploaded, Visual Force will send a message back. Or if there is an error, uh, it will also send the error message back as to what the uh, error message is. This component can be dropped on other uh, other uh, S objects. For this one is account. So let's take a quick look at the contact. So I can do the same procedure here. Select the file, upload it, and the file will show up in the uh, notes and attachment section like so. That is pretty much it for this component. Uh, let's take a quick look at the code. We have the Apex controller where we have an attachment object as a transient. And then we just use that and uh, the ID provided to Visual Force page as the parent ID and just insert that attachment. And then Visual Force page will have the message and the message type whether it's success or error. And once the file has been uploaded, uh, we will have the file upload processed is true. In the Visual Force page, we have a forum, um, and we also have a listener on the message type. So, uh, Lightning component can send messages to Visual Force. And once the file has been uploaded, um, and Lightning component has uh, pressed that button, it'll let Visual Force page know, and Visual Force page will um, automatically <coughs> go ahead and click the submit button, which is hidden on the Visual Force page. And once the file has been processed, it will send the message back to Lightning Component and send the message and the type. It could be error or success. In the component itself, uh, everything is standard and we just have a iframe with the Visual Force page and then we have the button to initiate the uploading file. In the controller, we build the Visual, For, uh, Visual Force page URL because we need to send the record ID um, to the Visual Force page as the parent ID and then once we receive the messages from Visual Force, um, as Lightning Component is listening on message, uh, the first one is if Visual Force page has been loaded. The second one is that it has a file has been selected in the forum. And the third one is the file upload has processed and it will create a dynamic UI message component to display on the screen. It could again be either error or success. And then finally, we have the helper function that uh, will uh, send the message to Visual Force page using the standard dot post message function. That is pretty much it. It's uh, we have just created a component which you can use to uh, upload larger files in um, Lightning Experience through uh, Lightning components using Visual Force. Thank you.